It is no secret that I disagree with Donald Trump on virtually every issue. But I have to say that his decision regarding DACA is the ugliest and most cruel decision made by a president of the United States in the modern history of this country. Today to announce that the program known as DACA that was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. In Maryland, it's 15,000 kids who are going to lose their status. What happens? Do they get deported? Do they lose their jobs? What happens to the families that they're supporting and their dreams? The idea that you would take away the legal status of some 800,000 young people, young people who have known no home other than the United States. This is my home, so this is my people, this is, this, is, this is my country. I'm an American. Young people who today have good jobs, being productive members of the economy, young people who are in school, young people who are serving the military, and take away their legal status and put them in a position where they could be deported and thrown out of the only country that they ha can remember. He did give me a sense of hope uh, because it was an opportunity for me to work, for, for me to obtain a social security number, and for me to get higher education. By him taking my ability to work, it's gonna make it a lot more difficult for me to get ahead in life. DACA has given me the opportunity to, to first of all, drive, have a work permit, and uh, has given me a temporary uh, status, protection status, and if DACA is taken away, I won't be able to practice my nursing career. To all those 800,000 beneficiaries, um, their lives are at risk right now, and they could lose their, their authority to work here legally and um, provide for their families. Our job now in Congress is to move as quickly as we possibly can to rally the American people and to pass legislation repealing Trump's horrific decision. We need to um, support that kind of beneficiaries and we need to stay together, all immigrants and non-immigrants. We need to be united in this fight. No human is illegal. We need to understand that. We're all here for each other. I find that more people are united than not in, in a lot of these difficult times. They call it the Dream Act because it's the American dream and we're trying to preserve the American dream. And I hope the American people will stand with us as we go forward in protecting these 800,000 young people.